time to load this chili water <laughs> to hang out with Tony Fast himself. Got to make sure uh, we stay hydrated while we're out here in Montana. I think it's going to be a little hotter than Minnesota. It's so. going to be a little hotter. Going to make sure the chill is cold. <laughs> Heck yeah. Just like that, no longer on the interstate. <laughs> well, this is the first time for me anyway. I'm gonna be north of 94 in Montana. It's official. It's the first time I've ever done this. This is uh, about my 16th time. I'd say I've only come out here for snowmobiling. So seeing the farming side of uh, of Montana would be fun. Uh, so it's going to be interesting for me anyway to kind of see how things are different compared to say back home in Minnesota. And I'm, one of the things that, you know, a 12 hour drive with Eric and coming all the way out here to see Tony, I just have to listen to all these red jokes all the time. And I don't know if I'm quite ready for that. Well, <laughs> Tony will educate you. Yeah. <laughs> just for warning you, Tony. That's right. We have another one of those green guys coming along with us. <laughs> well, it takes a smart man to realize that, you know, green usually means good. And uh, we'll get you guys converted. You know, sometimes it takes some time. Some are just a little harder convinced than others. And uh, we'll get you there eventually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got him on that one. <laughs> I don't think we quite get these views in Minnesota. Nope. Looks like we made it. Definitely a little longer driveways than we got at home. Just a little bit longer driveway. Just a tad. <laughs> Look at that. See? I guess Case is number one. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that one. That was pretty clever. <laughs> so another thing I kind of noticed when uh, a couple of these, when a couple of the fast crew pulled in, some of these old 90s Chevys, completely rust free. Should take some of these home too. Think they'll trade? <laughs> well, the one thing that I noticed when we pulled in as they walked up and they go, oh, they look at you, Ryan, and says, are you Eric's mini me? <laughs> mini me. Oh boy. I'm getting compared to you. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's a great it's thing. It's a great thing. Yeah, you, yeah I, I, I respect you a little bit, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be out here replacing some of these skid shoes here. And as you can see, we got a couple that are missing. We got some that are pretty well beat up and scratched up. So all of these all across the cutter bar here will all be replaced. It's kind of hot out, so we're going to take advantage and move this thing into the shop. <laughs> See the difference in thickness on where the old one is? Hey Tony. Oh, this stuff? Hey, I tell you what, <laughs> there's nothing better than chilling with another case fan. There you go. You're kind of thirsty already. <laughs> the red jokes are going to be non-stop today, I can already tell. Yeah. <laughs> Big one, 
you, that's what you get when you bring one John Deere guy in the crew, right? I hear you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why'd you have to pick one of the hottest days to do one of these installs anyway? It, it's, it usually happens that way when we're at Tony's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, good thing we got uh, this great northern chill to keep us hydrated throughout this. Ryan, there we, we uh, have the old pedal bar skitchers taken off. We uh, took the putty knife, took the, the old dirt um, over time to get a lot of dirt and, yep. and uh, different stuff building up. Got that scraped off, but uh, found a new helper, the future generation. Yeah. Also looks like a little mini me of yours. Yeah. Of mine? You think you look like me? I don't know. People think I look like Eric a little bit too. Uh, I don't think so. What's your name? Nice to meet you. I'm Eric. And I'm Ryan. There we go. Nice handshake. How about that? He's going to do all the work for us. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are doing good work. You know what? Uh, I don't know what it is, but every time we go to individual places, do the install, we do the work. Sometimes it gives you a reason to take a lunch. Works for me. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got all the old skid shoes off. Got a box full of new ones. Let's up another time lapse. Here's one thing all you farmers out there can relate to, or any garage junkie at that point. You drop a bolt on the ground, where in the heck did it go? You got that much card left in there for him to get that sticker off of there? I know, it's taking me forever. Fingers on both these Macdon drapers, and as you can see, 
They're all in good shape, not a single one is missing. Alrighty, make sure you guys hold on. running them looks like they're holding up extremely well yeah a couple of grooves but that's to be expected with as many rocks as we got yeah it uh holding up great now if we would have just communicated beforehand and got the rest of the skid shoes for the rest of it not just a cutter <laughs> bar we'd be in good shape <laughs> yeah we, we have those on a uh, very fast shipment right they're now on the way. <laughs> <laughs> they're on their way so no very impressed uh and uh, doing what we expected it to do. Yeah, they're a little thicker, so they should last longer than what was on there. A little thicker. Um, again, compression molded uh, skid shoe is going to fit on all your Macdon, uh, uh, D series, your FDs, uh, F1s, uh, as well as the Case IH 2100 series, uh, New Holland 8283 and 86C. So, for more information, visit your local May West dealer. Check us out on the web or give us a call, 1-800-788-6483.